Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for this video, I'll be showing you how to make an advanced stats GUI. So what makes this stats GUI so advanced is basically that um, your stats won't be visible to other players. So it's only visible to yourself. And also another thing which um, is incorporated in a lot of games and something that a uh, few of you have been asking me to do and that is um, a system where you can get available points and where you can put it into certain stats so I have actually created that and I'll just show you real quick um, of, of how um, it works so as you can see this is the open and close button and as you can see I have um, 10 gold and I know the points doesn't really like isn't really linked to gold but um, I couldn't really be bothered to change it um, but anyways it works so as you can see since I have no available points I can't do anything but if I do this as you can see it goes up like that so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that and it's actually really simple and yeah. Alright, so first thing that we need to do is put in a script into server script storage. You want to, and for organization's sake, you can just rename it to leaderboard. In the script is a very basic, uh, very basic lines of codes. These are very similar to your normal lines of codes for a leaderboard, except here. This is the main thing. So instead of having the leaderboard, uh, the leaderboard name as leader stats, um, you want to have it as leaderboard. So I will explain this very quickly. <laughs> so this, this basically tells the script when to function, when to do something. And it tells it to do it whenever a player is added to the game. PLR basically is just the name of the function. Local leaderboard equals instance.new folder PLR. This basically means um, to create a folder and to put it inside of the PLR, which is the player. And then over here, this is practically the same thing except that uh, we put an int value and we put the int value inside of the leaderboard. Now, the, an int value is basically a value which um, can go up and down, but only in numbers. And the gold dot value, this is just the value of the gold, which people will start off with. And AP just refers to available points and the rest is exactly the same as this. Now, we're going to talk about this. So what I've done is I've inserted a screen GUI into the starter GUI. <coughs> I've then inserted a frame, which is just this, and an open and close button. So the open and close button, it's basically like this. It's extremely simple. And I'll just go over it very quickly and briefly. So this basically says, refers to this. Script.parent refers to the script's parent, which is this button. And it's saying that if the, that when the button is clicked to connect to the servers and function or do something. <laughs> And that something is for this frame to go visible, um, to go like not visible, and then to go visible again. So that's how it works. And then here, um, this is where, so this text box is actually hidden. It's transparent and this basically will display the gold and in here is a script. This script is very simple. This while true do script is this while true do function. I mean, uh, whoops, <laughs> this is um, a loop and this is the weight. So 
Um, the reason why we put await is so that the script won't I guess overload and crash the game. So local PLR, um, this rep this refers to the player, this refers to the leaderboard, and this here um, refers to the um, to the gold factor, I guess. So this right here is referring to this right here. And script parent dot text equals gold. So it's just saying that this text label that its text will say gold colon and uh, okay, or well my battery's gonna die, and it says and to put the value of the gold right there. Okay. So then uh, here in the plus sign, uh, this the this plus is basically um, this thing here. And this is the little um, plus button which you can use to put in your available points. And to get the plus symbol, I just put a plus right there. And this local script, all you've got to do is just put this in. And once again, it's very straightforward. And this right here, this refers to this and AP refers to available points that's what I've listed it as and here it's basically that if the available points um, is less is more than one is more or equals than one then for the gold value to go up by one and for the available point value to go down by one and this is just um, if the if the available points value is less than one, then just return back to the script. Okay, <clears throat> this is just the title, and this is practically the same thing as uh, the gold script that we did. Um, the gold script over here, it's literally exactly the same, except that. Um, you put available points right there. <clears throat> okay, so that's basically how it works. It's very simple. Um, I'll just show you once again. So as you can see, we got 10 gold. We put uh, my available points in here and as you can see it goes up and then it doesn't go up anymore because we don't have any available points so there you go it's honestly a very simple script if you have any questions or any inquiries or requests just leave them in the comments and yep i'll uh, see you later uh hopefully not in a Hopefully in less than five months. Alright, see you guys.